lives in a pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob SquarePants! And in yellow and porous is he. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the six episode SpongeBob SquarePants event, Legends of Bikini Bottom. The Monster Who Came to Bikini Bottom. So this episode is about when Patrick meets this monster. He names the monster Rorg. They become best friends, but of course, Rorg is creating chaos in Bikini Bottom. So that's where it has their little friendship at stake. I actually did like this episode. I thought it was very fun. I actually thought it was a cute episode overall and it's just a nice episode for me to sit down and enjoy. It has a decent storyline. The writing is pretty good. The humor is pretty good too for the most part. I really enjoyed Patrick and the monster Rorg becoming friends with each other. I just thought their friendship was really cute. Roar the monster, he was a pretty cute monster. He has no eyes and he just roars but it was really enjoyable though and yeah, that's the best way to describe it. It's a cute, enjoyable, and well-made episode. It was funny how Patrick was speaking Rorg's language. There are flaws with this episode that really bugged me, though. One of the flaws I did have with this episode is that there was a scene where Patrick and Rorg are shaking the snow globe, and it's just the two of them laughing. They shake the snow globe and laugh. It was filler to me, and I also thought it was very stupid, unfunny, and... It really annoyed me. That scene honestly didn't need to be in the episode. There was also this moment where Spongebob has a flashback of when the soda machine runs out of ice. <gasps> oh, yeah, I know, it's so tragic. And it was so stupid. It was not even funny to me. There was no point to that flashback, so I didn't like that part either. While the storyline was decent, it could have used some more improvement. And there were a couple of moments where I did get a little bored by the episode, but overall, The Monster Who Came to Bikini Bottom is a good episode. I like it. It's just fun to watch. It's adorable. And I also did enjoy the ending. That was really cute right there. So I'll give The Monster Who Came to Bikini Bottom a solid 7 out of 10. Welcome to the Bikini Bottom Triangle, with Jennifer Goodwin guest voicing in this episode as the lead mermaid. This episode is about when Spongebob, Patrick, Squidward, and even Pearl are having their belongings that are real, that are missing. Mr. Krabs is missing, actually. So then it wasn't until this pirate tells a story of the Bikini Bottom Triangle. So Spongebob, Squidward, Patrick, and Pearl, they go into the Bikini Bottom Triangle, finding that all their belongings are there. But the reason for that is because of these mermaids that's bringing all of these belongings into the Bikini Bottom Triangle. This was a good episode as well. I enjoyed it as much as I did with the monster who came to Bikini Bottom. This is an episode that has a fun storyline, that has pretty good writing, and the whole Bikini Bottom Triangle idea was actually quite clever, and I did actually really enjoy how the concept was used in this episode. Jennifer Goodwin, she guest voices here as the lead mermaid, and I thought she did a really good job as the lead mermaid. She's the one that would sass talk throughout the whole time. The sass talk I know is gonna annoy some people, but personally, I thought it worked. I actually laughed a little bit repetitive, I'll give it that, but I still really laughed and enjoyed when she was sass talking to SpongeBob or Mr. Krabs and giving insults at them, so I actually did dig that. It was also funny how Patrick had crushes on the mermaids, and which at the same time is not a surprise, considering Patrick did have a crush on a mermaid in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, you remember? The mermaid named Mindy, voiced by the sexy Scarlett Johansson. So I saw that 
part as a way of it continuing from the Spongebob movie. I don't know if the writers actually remembered or if, if it was just a coincidence, but I'm just going to take it as that. A little bit of a continuation thing to me. There were some funny moments to the episode to make it really refreshing. It was just cool to see where everyone's belongings went to and how they're trying to figure out a way to get out of the Bikini Bomb Triangle. How we got to see that the mermaids turned out to be a little lonely. That's why all these belongings were coming to them in the Bikini Bottom Triangle. That was cool to explore right there. Only problems would be just that I did get a little bored in a couple of moments. Pearl was getting on my nerves a little and like I said the lead mermaid sassy talk does get a bit repetitive but I liked this episode overall. I dug the concept and I felt like it was used well. Just a very refreshing episode to watch. So I'm going to give this episode a a 7 out of 10. Curse of the Hex with Kristen Wiig guest starring as Madam Hagfish. The Curse of the Hex is about when Madam Hagfish comes to the Krusty Krab wanting a Krabby Patty but Mr. Krabs won't let her because she doesn't have the money. She curses Mr. Krabs because of that reason. So now the Krusty Krab is officially cursed. So now Mr. Krabs and Spongebob have to try to convince Madam Hagfish to reverse back the curse. I actually really enjoyed the curse of the Hex. This is a pretty freaking awesome episode in my humble opinion. I know it has some hate like some people think it's disgusting and all that stuff. Me, there's only one part that struck to me as disgusting, and that's when she arrives at the Krusty Krab and like uh, threw up whatever it was, the slime. I don't know. That was the, a disgusting moment. This episode was very well written. It was a lot of fun. It was a very cool concept. And Kristen Wiig, I actually gotta say, she did a very excellent job as Madam Hagfish. She did a really good job changing around her voice because I'm used to hearing Kristen Wiig use her regular voice but no in this one she actually uses a different voice actually to the point where I don't see Kristen Wiig voicing in the studio. I actually was convinced I saw Madam Hagfish on screen and Kristen Wiig's voice just fit that character so perfectly. As for the episode there are funny moments involving the curse such as Mr. Krabs' money burning on fire that was hilarious Spongebob sneaking in Krabby Patties to Madam Hagfish his butt looking big but those are the Krabby Patties making his butt look big the umbrella thing at the beginning so there's plenty of humor for me to laugh at and the storyline actually had me invested with the whole cursing because not only was I laughing in some moments but I was finding myself having a lot of fun and getting invested into the storyline. Now I gotta say the final few minutes of the episode is where my two major problems of the episode come. The first major problem I have was this lame scene where Spongebob had to face the eel to get the coin. This is all he had to do. He punches the eel, gets the coin, that's all. It, we could have had an epic fight. We could have had some nice action right there. But no, that epic moment was turned into <laughs> when Spongebob just, just had to punch and boom, that was it. And then Another major problem that bugged me slightly more than my first major problem. The ending was absolutely pathetic. This whole time, there was no curse. You know what the curse was? It was just a closed sign. So that way none of the customers go to the Krusty Krab. There was no freaking curse in the first place. And it was just so dumb to me. But not only that, what happened after that? Apparently the eel comes out of the Krusty Krab out of nowhere. And my gosh, what kind of character was the eel? What a stupid character that was. I just didn't like the character. The final few minutes just really went downhill because up until the final few minutes, this was a perfect episode. I would actually say I was loving it. But it was in the final few minutes where the episode just lost its step and it just wasn't as great as the majority of the episode. 
Nonetheless, though, I really like this episode. It's very creative. There's some funny moments. The storyline and concept was interesting. I'm going to give The Curse of the Hex an 8 out of 10. The Main Drain, requested by Tie-Dye Thomas and Knuckles and Jerry Callow. This episode is about when Mr. Krabs tells Spongebob and Patrick the story of the main drain in Bikini Bottom. And it all starts out when Spongebob was gonna almost pull out the drain. But if he does, something horrible was going to happen in all of Bikini Bottom. As in, everyone Bikini Bottom and all the water just drains down to the point where Bikini Bottom doesn't exist and no one exists. Mr. Krabs tells Spongebob and Patrick to not find the main drain or any of that. He forbids them. But of course, Spongebob and Patrick, with their curious minds, go on a search for this main drain and are curious to see if it actually exists. I thought it was a cool concept. How does the episode go, though? It actually started off to a strong start. The episode actually started off very funny, very fun. When Mr. Krabs was telling the story to Spongebob and Patrick, it was really cool and it had me very interested. And then once Spongebob and Patrick went on their search for the main drain, the episode itself really isn't all that interesting. Like, it could be entertaining to an extent, but... It just wasn't exactly what I was hoping it would be. The story and writing of this episode overall was very weak. It was convoluted. And it felt like the writers just weren't quite so sure where to go next with the episode. Positives with the episode is how, of course, the storyline starts out really strong. And the episode gets really interesting. There are some funny moments. Some of the humor could have been a little better, though. Like when Patrick was saying spaghetti... Uh, all this that was coming out of his head, that was just like a random scene that I felt was very out of place. It really wasn't as executed as well as it should have been. The writing definitely could have been more improved and I felt like the storyline just could have made more sense because it just makes you question the point of this episode and the overall story of the episode. Other problems I had with this episode definitely is... The whole twist at the end with the kids pulling out the main drain. But it was actually Mr. Krabs and Plankton as kids that pulled out the main drain. It was just stupid to me how Mr. Krabs just didn't tell Spongebob and Patrick the truth. I felt like it just made absolutely no sense right there. Not only that, but the ending overall was just a huge cop-out and... It, it was just the same twist. You've seen these twists happen dozens of times. Here's what happens at the end. Patrick, another fly half, he pulls out the drain. He's all like, that was close. Cool. That, by the way, what made the writers think that particular moment right there would be funny? That wasn't funny. That was just stupid. And it just kills what could have been such a creative episode. The, the concept is creative. I just felt like the writers didn't use the concept that well. I don't hate this episode. It's entertaining to an extent. But... It really could have been a lot better. And in case you're wondering what the cliché twist is, it was all a nightmare to Patrick. That was the twist and the end, which is what created pure bullshit to me. It honestly had me frustrated. I just felt like the writers didn't really try as hard. I felt like there wasn't enough passion. This is an okay episode. It's not terrible to me. The episode starts off strong. There are some very funny moments. And the concept overall is very creative, but when I put it all together, it's very forgettable. I'm going to give the main drain a 6 out of 10. Sponge Kano. So this episode is about when the Bikini Bottom volcano erupts, and so it brings in this Dolphin Warrior. And from what the Dolphin Warrior says, Bikini Bottom needs to make a sacrifice in order for the Bikini Bottom Volcano to not erupt. It's 
Squidward. He's been very rude to everyone. Twice as more rude than before. He's insulting all the customers. He's taking his life for granted. Everything is just horrible to Squidward. So Sponge Kano, Bikini Bottom having a volcano. It doesn't make sense, but I was up for the volcano concept because I really enjoy when shows have volcano episodes, but this episode was terrible. I hated this episode. I really, really hated Sponge Kano. Let me just start off with my positives. I really enjoyed the song in the beginning of the episode called Attitude with Gratitude. It's a musical number. Spongebob sings as soon as the episode starts and it got the episode off to a very good start and it was actually a very catchy musical number that had me happy and just, you know, moving around to it. I also thought there were a couple of funny moments and I thought the Dolphin Warrior was a really enjoyable character and had a couple of lines that were very funny to me. Now to my negatives. The storyline is terrible. It's not just Squidward, it's the storyline itself. It's just crap. The writing is crap. Everyone was really unlikable here. The only one that was likable is the Dolphin Warrior. That's really the only character. I didn't like the Bikini Bottom Citizens. I didn't like how they were going to use Squidward to throw in the volcano. That's right, Squidward was the sacrifice to make the volcano stop erupting. The ending was horrible, and I really hated how Squidward was taking his life for granted and thinking everything is horrible. Squidward, fuck you. There are people that go through worse shit than you do, and you have the right to actually say everything in your life is horrible. And you're taking SpongeBob for granted as a neighbor. Yes, he could be annoying, but have you forgotten the things SpongeBob has done for you in the past? Okay, Squidward finds SpongeBob annoying. All right, that's him. But what really makes me loathe Squidward so much is that everything to him is just bad with Spongebob. He's not even thinking about the positives he's had with Spongebob as a neighbor, as a friend, and as an employee. He's just thinking of Spongebob as 100% bad. Even when he did wrong in the past, he would figure out a way to fix it. I just couldn't stand Squidward here. Spongebob himself was pretty unlikable. It was also very horribly paced too. Everything seemed so rushed and it was a simple storyline but it was a storyline that was just rushed 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 and then boom the episode is over here's all that happens in the episode spongebob sings his song the crusty crabs erupts everyone goes into the bikini bomb auditorium with the dolphin warrior everyone bikini bomb larry goes to the volcano getting ready for square to go in the volcano spongebob saving squitter from going in the volcano that is your episode. I literally just told you the whole episode in like 10 seconds. The actual sacrifice was stupid too. You know what it is? It was to sacrifice someone's house. And apparently the dolphin warrior didn't finish his sentence. Even though he didn't say of the most miserable person. He just said, of the most miserable person, and then someone else talks. So, that didn't make sense right there either. So apparently, it's not Squidward because he's the most miserable person ever. It's the most miserable person's house, which is Squidward's house. Oh my god. You literally have nothing that happens in this episode. It was exciting when the volcano was erupting at the Krusty Krab. That's another positive I did almost forget to mention. I thought that was cool right there how the volcano erupted. It added a little bit of excitement. It's just a shame that SpongeBob had to have a terrible, frustrating, and dull volcano themed episode. Sponge Kano is one of the worst SpongeBob episodes I've seen. I'm going to give it a three out of 10. Trench B. 
Billies. So this episode is about when SpongeBob and Patrick are jellyfishing. They didn't see where they're going, so they fall down to this country-like village where they meet the Trench Billies and Amy Sedaris guest voices in this episode as Ma. So SpongeBob and Patrick are held as prisoners by these Trench Billies and they just do competitions with them. Trench Billies is a very mediocre episode. It's no Sponge Kano. This episode is way better than Sponge Kano, but it still wasn't that good of an episode. There are some funny moments. I did enjoy the competition scenes, such as when SpongeBob and Patrick are burping this corn soda. It was weird. It was a little disgusting, but it was funny. There's also this hilarious scene where they're doing the banjos <laughs> and Spongebob is used as this banjo. It was probably the most hilarious scene of this whole episode. That scene right there had me laughing so hard. And Amy Sedaris I thought did a very great job voicing Ma. Her voice definitely matched that laid back fat character on a couch so well <laughs> but she did capture like the personality of the character nicely my problems with this episode though is first of all how the trench billies looked with like literally no pupils it's literally blank eyeballs it's really disturbing i understand the writers wanted to go unique with the characters but, but i found the animation to the trench billies to being not that good and also the trench billies character themselves really weren't that interesting. I didn't really dig the characters. Spongebob and Patrick, take those two out. This episode would have been much more dull than it already is because of these characters. Spongebob and Patrick are the ones that would make this episode entertaining in certain spots. The plot and writing itself, it's very bland, it's dull, and I felt like the writers really didn't go all that creative with it. You have Spongebob and Patrick in the village for a while and then all of a sudden, they end up in the Krusty Krab in the final few minutes with Mr. Krabs and Squidward appearing in the final few minutes for no reason. That's another problem I had. The final few minutes was so rushed because SpongeBob and Patrick just had to run away from them, which is cool because they're trying to escape. But then they go into the Krusty Krab in which the Trench Billies followed them there. So at the same time, it was really stupid. And of course, they're destroying the Krusty Krab. <laughs> the ending just ends ridiculously. It ends with Mom marrying Mr. Krabs. So they get married. Okay. <laughs> uh, what were the writers really trying to do with this episode? Just what was their inspiration? Where was some of the creativity with the episode? And where was some of the entertainment value? It was just all over the place in the final few minutes. Very poorly paced. It really could have been a whole lot better. It's really disappointing that the episode isn't as good as it really should have been. The idea itself really wasn't written all that well. I didn't feel much effort from the writers. A 5.5 out of 10. It was mediocre at best, but yeah, the concept was pretty wasted. Comment below and rank all the episodes. Tell me what was your favorite of this event. What was your least favorite. My favorite is The Curse of the Hex. My least favorite is Sponge Kano. And here's my ranking very quick. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have... TAGA POWER!